Okay, guys, so for lesson 17, all we're doing is we're doing the same thing we did with lesson 16, except with 3D shapes. So on here, we're gonna take, okay, this icon that we have here. We're gonna match up the dimensions on here, and we're gonna see if it's constant. So let's read the problem. Jake creates a simple game on his computer and shared it with his friends to play. They were instantly hooked, and the popularity of his game spread so quickly that Jake wanted to create a distinctive icon so that players could easily identify his game. He drew a simple sketch. From the sketch, he created stickers to promote his game, but Jake wasn't quite sure if the stickers were proportional to his original sketch. So we're gonna take this sketch right here, and we are gonna line up the different okay, dimensions. So one inch right here. All right, this is our original. And this is our sticker, okay? So the one right here goes to the two. Okay, the one right here also goes to two. And then the 0 0.75 goes to 1.5. You know, if you want to line up by using lines, that could help you, you know, okay? Because then we also have 7 eighths, goes to 1 and 3 fourths. To make this easier on ourselves, we want to make this into a mixed number. And so to do that, we take four times one is four, plus three makes seven. So this is seven over four. So after we line them up, we're looking for something that we talked about in the last video, which is called the constant. We're looking to make sure they're proportional. And in order to do that, see proportional, in order to do that, we have to find our constant, our K for constant always equals what divided by what? You should have said Y divided by X. And we're gonna say, I'm gonna do my original as my Y. So I know I'm gonna make that my X, so I'll make it easier. And my sticker, my Y. So we're gonna do this for all four to make sure that they're all two. So two divided by one is two. Two divided by one is two. 1.5 divided by 0 0.75. Let me get my calculator. Okay. And let's see, 1.5 divided by 0 0.75 is also two. And then we're going to do the last, the hardest one, our fraction divided by fraction. Remember when we do that, we KCF, we keep, change, and flip. 7 eighths multiplied by the opposite, which is 4 sevenths. And then we do top times top, bottom times bottom. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 times 7 is 56. Okay, well, hold on. That should line up, right? Seven eighths, okay, to one three fourths. Oh, we flipped it around, that's why. Do, 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 do. Trying to figure out what I did. Seven fourths times eight over seven, which becomes 56 over 28, which equals two. So, since all four of these added up, or all four of these divided out to be the same thing, is this proportional? That's a question mark, sorry. And the answer to that is yes, it is proportional. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this next one. Okay, so this right here, I wanna make sure we get this written down. The steps to check for proportionality for scale drawings in the original object or picture. Make sure we get these. Number one, 
Okay. Line up. I'm oh, sorry. Line up. The corresponding dimensions. And when I say dimensions, make sure we are using these. This is the dimension. One half inch, one half inch. That's what they're doing, okay? After you do that, divide Y or choose a Y and an X. Choose a Y and X. After you do that, you do number three. You decide what you're gonna do. You are gonna, then you divide Y by X. Y divide by X, okay? So those are your three steps. If you don't have those written down as I was writing, pause the video and make sure you get them written down. So this is the most important thing, okay? So right here, the scale factor is another word for our constant. Okay? So what that means, scaling greater than one. So if your constant is greater than one, it enlarges. Okay? So if the K is bigger than one, it enlarges. If your constant is less than one, it reduces. Okay, so that's what that thought is. If it enlarges, it's getting bigger. If it's, okay, if it's reducing, it's getting smaller. We're gonna skip this next one and go on. Okay. And I'm gonna go down here to exercise number two. We are gonna take, a, take this, a scale factor of one half, okay, and we are gonna measure this and we are gonna get the dimensions, okay, in order to find the, in order to do the scale factor. Okay, I'm gonna make a T-chart. And I wanna know what each section is. So from here to here, each section. Okay. And don't forget the length. Okay, after you do that, that's all you're going to do. You're going to take this and you're going to find your dimensions of each one. And after you find your dimensions, we multiply by a half. Okay, you should have gotten your dimensions. I don't have time to actually measure it right now, so I'm going to make a guess what I think they are and go from there because, you know, just to save myself some fun, one inch, I'm gonna say a half inch and a quarter inch. And I'm gonna say this is two inches, the length, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna line them up. One inch, half inch, quarter inch, two inches, okay? This is my original. And this is my scale. What I'm going to do is take each of these, so one, and multiply it by half. And if I do that, I'm going to get one half. Okay, so it's now half an inch. One half times one half is one fourth. And a fourth times a half equals one eighth. And two times a half equals one. So each time I'm multiplying by my scale factor to get my answer. Hmm? That's what you're gonna do on the problem set today is you're gonna take this, okay? And I want you to do this, okay? I want you to try number one, okay? And then I want you to tell me on number three as well. You're finding the scale factors, 
Okay? And you're going to write them down. Okay? Scale factors is the same as finding the constant, which is equal to y divided by x. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow.